Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make these beautiful keychains. You can make them as a gift for your friends, family, or your special someone. All right, so what you'll need is these little wooden blocks. I got them at Michael's. Then an X-Acto knife, this is optional, but you can use it for cutting the paper or helping you out with the glue later. I'll show you what I mean. And then um, little clips to make the actual keychain. This is what the blocks look like up close. I'll put a link down below where you can find them online. You're also going to need decorating supplies like paint. You're also going to need Mod Podge Plain and Mod Podge 3 Dimensional. Then scissors and your picture printed out to the same size as your block. Also little rings as I'm showing and other decorating supplies. I'm using embossing. Alright, first cover the block with Mod Podge. This layer is necessary because normal pens or decorations will seep through into the wood and you don't want that to happen. Here I'm decorating with embossing but I'm not going to go into too much detail so if you want to see a more detailed video then click the link right now. And here I'm using the X-Acto knife to paint. I know it sounds weird, but it was the only thing skinny or thin enough to draw something this precise. Here I'm painting the sides of the block. Of course you don't have to do this, it's all optional, or you can use other colors, whatever you want. Once again, I'm creating the layer of plain Mod Podge and then I'm gluing on the picture that was cut out to the same size and making sure it's securely glued to the block. And I would actually recommend using plain paper rather than uh, photo paper because the photo paper, the ink on top of that starts dissolving into the glue. So which leads me to my next step and that's to put in the three-dimensional glue over the picture. The next step is to drill a hole through one of the corners. Okay, so now I'm taking one of the rings, opening it up and putting it through the hole that I drilled and then I'm putting another ring on top of that to make a chain. This is what it should look like as of now, and then the next step is to take the clipper, the, the thing, I don't even know what it's called, open up one of the rings and put that on top, and there you have it, your complete keychain. Alright, so this is the finished product. I think it's a great gift for somebody. Please put down your comments, requests, questions down below, and I will see you next time. Also, make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe. Bye, guys!